measures of spread. This indicates how far spread, dispersed and varied data is within a set. If two data sets are the same size, with the same mean, they could still have right in terms of how close the majority of data points were to that average. Differences such as this are described by measures of spread, the range and the standard deviation. The range. It is the simplest measure of spread. To calculate. 1. Find the largest and smallest value in the set of data. 2. Subtract the smallest value from the largest value and add 1. Conventionally, the addition of 1 is not done. In psychological research this is done so that we measure the gaps between points, not the points themselves. The standard deviation. In the same way that the mean can tell us more than the mode, a measure of spread called the standard deviation can tell us more than the range. Range than looking only at the extremes of the data set, the standard deviation takes into account the difference between each data point and the mean, this is known as deviation from the standard. As the standard deviation tells us the spread of a group, groups with scores that are more widely dispersed have a larger standard deviation. When the standard deviations of two groups are similar, this indicates they have a similar variation around the mean slash average graphs. This is used to visually illustrate data, with a variety of them for different purposes. The ones being included in our syllabus being bar charts, histograms and scatter graphs. Bar charts. A bar chart is used when data is in separate categories rather than a continuous scale. Bar charts are therefore used for the totals of data collected in named categories and for all measures of central tendency. The bars on a bar chart must be separate. The x-axis represents distinct groups of values, such as the dv, and not a linear scale. For an experiment, the four levels are put on the y-axis while the dv levels are put on the x-axis. Histograms are useful to show the pattern in whole data set, where the data is continuous in which case the data is being measured on a scale rather than distinct categories. A histogram may be used to illustrate the distribution of a set of scores. In this case, the dv is plotted upon the x-axis, these may be grouped categorically, while the frequency of each score is plotted along the y-axis. As a scale represented on the x-axis is continuous the bars are drawn next to each other, with no gap. Thus, if a category has no score, it must be left to shown as empty. The results which are collected from a correlational study are presented on a scatter graph. To construct a scatter graph, a dot is marked at a point where the participants score on each variable cross, there is also the line of best fit reoccurring on a scatter graph. The position of this line is calculated and its line is drawn so that it comes close to as many points as possible. In the case of a strong correlation, all the data points lie near slash close to the line whereas in a weak correlation it's vice versa, they are more spread out. When there is no correlation, a concrete line is not formed. It is also a significant aspect to keep in mind that correlation does mean causation, we cannot determine causality from the findings. Scatter graphs thus only do so much as to explore and tell us about the relationship between variables. An experiment could help us find cause however.